Hey guys, I thought I'd check out some benchmarks on my Nexus 4 running at 1.8 GHz. Now I'm running the bricked kernel to use that 1.8 GHz clock. And I'm also running the Paranoid Android Custom ROM that has some optimizations that may help my score. I've also turned off the 60 frames per second limit that you normally get on this device. So I'll put in the description exactly how you can do that. It's just a build prop edit. It's not very hard. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Now I've never actually tried 1.8 GHz, so I have no idea if my device can handle this. It is kind of dangerous, so if you want to try 1.8, just be careful. I'm going to put my minimum and maximum to 1.8 here and the governor to performance. Click apply. We'll turn off the thermal throttle as well, just so we don't get throttled. And yeah, like I said, I have no idea if my uh, phone's going to blow up or anything, but let's hope it doesn't. We'll run Geekbench first and boom. I'll skip this bit because it's kind of boring. Come back with the results. And here we go, we're back and we've scored 2,809. That is a pretty amazing score at 1.8 gigahertz, don't forget. Normally at 1.5 gigahertz on this kernel, it gets about 2,300. And normally compared to stock Nexus 4, you can see it scores 2,032. So we're about 800 points above that on Geekbench. So that's pretty impressive right there. Next up, we will try Quadrant. And Quadrant, I'm going to let run here because I just want to show you the 3D graphics FPS at the bottom. You should notice it's going to be a lot above 60 frames per second that it's normally capped at. The 2D one won't be, but the 3D one will be. So you see here we're locked at 60. Now look, we're at 79, 78. I wouldn't suggest using this tweak to get above 60 FPS the whole time because it does cause some screen tearing throughout the UI, so really only use it to get kind of good benchmark scores. Just a bit of fun, really. Nothing amazing. Here we go. Yes, we want to see the benchmark result. And boom, 9,324. You can see the 3D score is much above what it normally gets. And that's quite impressive. I think stock on Android 4.3 with the Nexus 4, it gets around 4,000 or 5,000. Quadrant's never been great for the Nexus 4. But uh, there you have it. So here we go with the last benchmark. It's Antutu. And by the way, guys, I've had to downclock it. It would not run Antutu at 1.8 gigahertz. So I've had to downclock it to 1.6. It still should be interesting to see the GPU test without that 60 frames per second. So I'll skip to that. Okay, so here we go with the graphics tests. And we should see quite a big increase in the FPS because we're not running that 60 frames per second cap. So keep an eye on the bottom left-hand corner when the 3D tests start. Should be pretty quick and pretty high. And here we go, you can see just how fast those swords are moving. We're at 110, 111 FPS, 111.8. And we've crashed out again. So my device just does not want to run Antutu pretty much at any overclock. So there you go, they, those are the kind of dangers of overclocking. It just doesn't want to run it. Either way, those that's pretty much what the Nexus 4 looks like when it's overclocked. It probably would have scored around 22 to 23,000 in Antutu if it finished. All the hardware is different, so your device may be able to handle 1.8 better than my device. Nonetheless, there it is. Nexus 4 overclocked. Peace out.